Hi, I'm Taylor with Bill Cat, and I'm going to show you how to change the capping station. Okay, so the parts we need are the capping station here. We have the extension cable, which is optional. It's only if you need it. It comes with every capping station. We have a 2.5 millimeter T handle or Allen wrench. We have our number two screwdriver, scissors, paper towels, Windex, um, and then we have either a quarter inch nut driver or a drill with a quarter inch bit. Okay, so first we're going to take our 2.5 millimeter uh, T handle here, and we're going to take apart uh, these screws here. Okay, so once we get the four uh, Phillips screws out, we're going to take out these four sheet metal screws with either the nut driver or the quarter inch bit. I like leaving this one last, that way I can hold it with my left hand. I'm going to hold it up. Okay, so this is the capping station in the machine here. Um, it's held in by a few screws. Here's one right there. So we get it straight down there. That's one. Okay, this is the side view of the capping station here. Okay, this one here is holding in the bracket, which the first screw is screwed into. So that's number two right here. Number three, you take your number two screwdriver, you go right into this hole here. And there's a screw right into there. If you look at the uh, capping station here, it's going into right here. Okay, so number uh, number four here, you take your screwdriver and you put it right through here. If you go in straight, almost can't miss it. Number four goes into here. Okay, so the fifth and last screw here, you want to take the back cover off so we can go in this way. And it's right there. It's holding the two orange ground cables. Now, sometimes you may notice, even though these are all the same screws, this one may be just a little longer. That's fine. Um, if you do see if any one of the five screws are longer, you just want to make sure that uh, you use the long one for back here. Uh, we don't want to use the long one for this this one here because it will push against that back wall. There's only so much room that can extend into. Okay, now I'm going to take out the screws. Got this one here. And keep in mind, taking out the screws, it does not matter what order they come out. Now when you take this one out here, you want to try to take your finger and just kind of support this back wall here. You don't have to try to push it, you just want to kind of support it because if you put too much force, it could bend that back wall, which will in turn bend the other front side of the uh, capping station. A magnetized screwdriver helps too. 
Okay, so we're taking out the last one here. Okay, so with the five screws out, now we're just going to unplug this uh, power cable to the capping station. Okay, so we want to unplug this cable here from this gray bridge, which plugs into our Epson board. So with that unplugged, um, nothing else is really plugging into it, but we just want to untangle it. So that's the ground to the tray. And now we got uh, this ground here from the capping station. That's what we want to untangle. So here, these two wires here. So we're good in the back end. Okay, next we're just going to take out this little bracket here. It has that one screw that we took out. That screws into the frame. And the first screw we took out goes into here, holding in the capping station. So we don't want to lose this piece here. Okay, so now that we have all those uh, cables loose, so now we want to take out the tubing. So we want to have our gloves on now, and we want to go from underneath, and we're going to gently, we're going to hold with our two fingers, we're going to hold back the, we're going to hold back the, uh, the white fitting here, and we're just going to pull on the gray tubing. Just like that. We only want the gray tubing loose. Just like that. Okay, so what I did here was I was using my two fingers holding this and pulling on each tube. The reason why is if you just pull on this, there's a chance that the whole tubing actually become connected, disconnected from here, which you don't want. Because this here is not part of the capping station, only this here. So you want to basically hold this, pull from here. Okay, so next we want to take our two tubes, our waste tubes out. Now if they are how they are now through here, you just want to push them through there. Sometimes they come out through here. Doesn't matter either way. You just want them out of the way. So I'm pulling from underneath. And just like that. Okay, so this is a new machine here. And this is basically the under view of the capping station. This is just showing you where these tubes go. This is showing you where your four waste tubes are coming from here. And this is where your little uh, cutout is here. On a new capping station, you want the cutout for this little pin here that's coming out. That's what's going to come through here. Just like that. Okay, so now with all five screws out, with the ground cables unplugged in the back, the tubes out from the front, and also the waste tubes through, now this should pop right off. And you start working its way down. And what we're looking at is at this square cut on the bottom, the little tab on the front left side here. It is right here. That's where you want the pin of the capping station to go through. Nice and slow. It's probably full of ink, so we don't want it to spill anywhere. 